From observation buildings to shopping malls, shipping containers are popping up all over the world. Recycling these huge containers can help save time and money while providing inexpensive housing and other cost-effective buildings. This is Glenn, and today we are bringing 15 shipping container ideas that can improve our world. Built by Urban Space Management, or Container City as they are called, the Roundhouse Trust had a five-story building constructed for their administration building, which they used to expand their programs for apprenticeships and traineeships for young people. Located in London, this is made of 72 recycled shipping containers, was finished in 2015, and has a total space of 21,500 square feet. In 2016, the building won the Best New Place to Work Award at the London Planning Awards. Number 14. Opened in downtown Las Vegas, this open-air shopping center has a three-story container elevator, a 40-foot-long praying mantis, a three-story interactive playground, and the dome, a 360-degree immersive Ultra HD experience showing educational adventures along with rock and roll visualizations. Made up of 43 shipping containers supplied by the International Port Management Enterprise and 41 Extreme Cubes, Container Park opened in 2013 and consisted of 39 boutiques, bars, and eateries. The park is a 56,000 square foot project that was created throughout with prefabricated shipping containers. Number 13. Designed by Lodak in 2017, Driveline Studios is a 72,000 square foot modular building made of 140 upcycled shipping containers that were left unpainted. Located in Johannesburg, South Africa, the containers were stacked, cut, and combined on site to form the units. The ground level is set with residential in the rear, retail along the side, and a private courtyard for residents with a pool and planted areas. The six levels above, are occupied by the residential units, all open-plan studios, varying in size between 300 and 600 square feet. The building commons is in line with the emerging urban community of its surrounding neighborhood, taking an active role in the renewal, renaissance, and re-imaging of the city downtown. Number 12. A modular container hotel the 220-bed Holiday Inn Express in Trafford, Manchester, is constructed from purpose-built steel containers, complete with factory-finished interior fixtures, carpet, wallpaper, ceiling and light fittings, and full-height windows, which were all installed before being delivered to site. Opened in 2017, the 64,000-square-foot hotel has modules stacked on top of each other, ensuring fast installation on site and each module comes with a section of corridor and two bedrooms. After the modules were in place, an external enclosure was applied using single-ply roofing systems and a pre-finished rain covering, maintaining an airtight seal to keep out the wind, rain, and other elements. This Holiday Inn Express won the Retail and Leisure Project of the Year in 2018 at the Offsite Construction Awards. Number 11. Completed in January 2014, Mill Junction is a low-cost and energy-efficient student residence manufactured using five abandoned silos and containers. And to provide additional floor space, a series of stacked shipping containers were added to incorporate the 11-story silos. An 11-story dormitory built by Satik Students, a satellite company of Jika property inside five silos were added on the side and top of the 50-year-old containers. Windows have been cut into the facades of the silos, and many of the new units feature balcony space overlooking the city. Mill Junction comprises 375 individual apartments, in addition to a host of study facilities, libraries, lounges, and computer rooms climbing to a height of 131 feet and offering panoramic views across the surrounding landscape. Number 10. 
Completed in 2006, Tempo Housing built the largest removable container campus for students of that time in Amsterdam, which faced a lack of student housing. China used a new concept of building a dedicated production line and could build up to 40 shipping container homes per week. With an area of over 330,000 square feet, this has 1,034 modules, including communal areas, laundry, housing, and a cafe. As of 2018, these are now being dismantled in two phases. The first 249 were removed in January, and the remaining will be vacated by December of 2019. Number 9 Built for Freytag Messenger Bag Company and completed in 2006, the Freytag Tower, located in Zurich West, is known for being the tallest shipping container store in the world at 85 feet high. Freytag, which is known for their stylish and innovative messenger bags that are made from old truck tarps, had this built and it contains the largest selection of messenger bags in the world. This multi-level store is home to clothing shops to sports merchandise, while the roof of the recycled skyscraper offers a commanding view of the former industrial quarter. Number 8 Created by art director Chang Gilwang, architect Ong Kiyun, and space designer Lee Minsu in a joint project with Metropolitan City, OceanScope is a public observatory built in South Korea. Repurposing five shipping containers, they installed them at angles of 10, 30, and 50 degrees on solid concrete foundations. Then stairs and viewing windows were installed inside, so visitors could walk into each one and get a different view. This project won the Red Dot Design Award for Buildings and Structures in 2010. Number 7 Common Ground is a trendy shopping district made of 200 blue shipping containers and is nestled in the eastern end of Seoul, South Korea. The first pop-up store built with shipping containers, it is bursting with energy and vivacity. There are food truck areas at the Central Square Market with the first floor specializing in cosmetics, clothing, and accessories. The second floor contains eye-catching technology products, stationery, or creative toys. The third floor terrace has restaurants, while the rooftop is home to many eateries. Common Ground's young designer brands were carefully selected for brand name and product quality, though you are not likely to find any mainstream brands here. Number 6 Urban Space Management also has three other major projects they built in the United Kingdom. Container City One is the first project, located at Trinity Buoy Wharf in the London Docklands. It was built in 2001, was initially three stories high, and provided 12 work or living apartments. Later, in 2003, another floor was added, containing three more apartments. Container City 2, also built at the Trinity Buoy Wharf in 2002, is designed with bright colors and is used for art studios. Built next to Container City 1, this has interconnecting bridges is handicap accessible and has a new elevator. In 2016, they also built the new office building for the Bristol and Avon Group. Made using 30 recycled shipping containers, this has three floors, giving the employees a spacious, stylish, and functional headquarters. Number 5. Built in 2010, Open School is a shipping container structure built over Hakwoon Park pedestrian walkway in Ongyang, Korea. The strong graphic design of the new arrangement with its bright yellow and black structure, lettering, and deck makes it a landmark within the city's urban fabric. This 2,600 square foot building is used as a school for photography and is positioned along the edge of the river to allow its visitors and users to be spectators and actors during the public art program. The building is a testing ground for radical container assemblies with high sculptural potential, including bending containers out of their horizontal volume, floating containers in midair to defy their heavy masses, and shearing the containers at unexpected angles. Number 4 The Hotel Quadrum is shaped like a pyramid and built in the beautiful mountain landscape of Upper Gadari in the Republic of Georgia. 
by architect Sandro Ramishvili and Irakli Aristavi. Built 7,200 feet above sea level, the minimalist-style boutique hotel seems to cascade down the mountainscape while shaping to the local terrain. On the inside, you will find a long spiraling staircase taking you to the sleeping and living areas that have luxury bathrooms with jacuzzi bathtubs and decks with a stunning view of the surrounding countryside. The idea behind the project was to safeguard the environment with environmentally friendly materials of local production while leaving the landscape completely untouched. Number 3 Designed by BMW China with a shipping container concept and opening in 2013 at the former Expo site in Shanghai, the Mini Brand Experience Center is the first of its kind exhibition center pop-up showroom worldwide. The building is a 52-foot high structure consisting of a steel frame with three attached boxes and four different floor areas with individual themes. On the ground floor is B Mini, a mini welcome used as an open and spacious greeting area. On the second floor is the World of Mini, which displays two cars in its showroom, while on the third floor you will find a lifestyle space called Minify Your Life. Finally, on the fourth floor, they have the Mini United Lounge, which offers a seating lounge and bar with a relaxing view of the China Pavilion. Number 2 Located by the edge of Molting Lagoon on Tasmania's beautiful east coast, the Devil's Corner Cellar Door and Lookout provides spectacular views across the lagoon to the hazards at Coles Bay. This is designed as a loose collection of timber-clad buildings forming a modern interpretation of a traditional form of rural settlement that gathers over time. Visitors can visually explore the landscape within and around the vineyard through the placement of a series of timber-clad shipping containers and curated framed views. The three distinct spaces reference different and unique views of the site, including the sky, the horizon, and the tower, which winds its way upwards, providing views to each compass point before ending in an elevated and spread out view of the bay. Number one. These two concepts were put together for the 2015 International Ideas Competition to try and provide housing for the overpopulated Davari slum in Mumbai and could really be the future of urban development. Ganti and Associates won first prize with the Favela Container Skyscraper that was 328 feet high and self-supported by a series of container clusters that were divided by steel girders every eight stories. Steel City Container Skyscraper was conceived by CRG Architects, which won third prize. Their idea had two towers in the space, built with overlapping containers using a cylindrical shape for the base that would give it a maximum viewing area of the surrounding landscape. Hey guys, this is Katsi. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.